More than 50 years old, Canada's Chalk River nuclear reactor is near the end of its useful life. It's had a series of leaks and a shutdown in 2009 temporarily deprived the world of nearly half of its supply of medical isotopes. Tiny quantities of radioactive elements are used in a variety of cancer, heart and other treatments. There are no plans to replace Chalk River, so Canadian researchers have been looking for new ways to produce isotopes. Okay, so the target making process is completed now. At the country's the National Canada Particle Lake Physics here. Lab in Vancouver, the they found 100. one. A simpler, cheaper way to make a crucial medical product right in the hospitals that need them. It shifts the paradigm. You don't need nuclear reactors, you don't need highly enriched uranium. Uh, can be implemented, as I said, in almost any uh, nuclear medicine clinic. Okay, so this is a cyclotron. It's the machine that makes uh, the protons that are used to Instead of a costly, uh, potentially dangerous nuclear reactor, isotopes are made in a cyclotron, a standard particle accelerator sold in the commercial market. It uses magnets, not uranium, and emits radiation, but in small amounts. Most importantly, having dozens, even hundreds of cyclotrons producing isotopes at hospitals around the world would make nuclear medicine much more widely available. I think to be able to, uh, to provide a solution to ensuring a stable supply of medical isotopes for patients who need these scans for whether they suffer from cancer, from cardiac diseases, or, or other medical problems where they require nuclear medicine studies is, is important. Researchers also point to an unexpected side effect. They say countries using cyclotrons, not reactors, to make isotopes can't possibly make atomic bombs with the radioactive byproducts. If this Canadian breakthrough catches on, the benefits for doctors, patients, medical science are obvious. But it could also lead to fewer nuclear reactors in the world, less demand for enriched uranium, and dramatically lowered concerns about weapons of mass destruction. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Vancouver.